guys, Agilene here with a quick review of Rhyme. Rhyme is an atmospheric third-person puzzle platforming adventure. You play as a young boy, and you wake up on the shore of an island without any knowledge of where you are or what's going on, and you head towards the giant tower on the island. The story slowly unfolds as the game progresses, but I hesitate to say too much about it because it's easy to spoil. The story itself was fine, and even though it was predictable, it did evoke an emotional response. The majority of the gameplay is comprised of platforming, puzzles, and exploration. The platforming feels smooth and responsive, and there's quite a bit of parkour as you climb up rocks and buildings. It's great that the game makes it very obvious which ledges you can grab onto, and they all have a marking on the top edge. There's no wondering if you can make the jump or not. Most of the game is played at your own pace, but there are a couple of enemies that will kill you if you aren't quick to take cover or get away. If you do happen to die, the game just respawns you shortly before where you died, so it's fairly casual and user-friendly in that regard. As for exploration, there are a good number of secrets to find off of the main trails. You have a fox companion that guides you towards where you need to go, so I wound up following the fox the whole game. Looking back though, I kind of regret not venturing off on my own to look for hidden goodies. The game has different puzzle mechanics. In some of the puzzles, you'll need to interact with different objects to create shadows or light to change the environment, while in others you'll need to use your shout ability to trigger effects like doorways opening. One of the neat puzzle mechanics is pushing around the blocks and then lining up the shapes on top of the blocks to a matching pattern in the environment. Doing this transfers the shape to the environment, or you can transfer from the environment to the block. Overall, I think that the puzzles are good and have an appropriate difficulty for the style of the game. They aren't too difficult where you get stuck, but they offer enough of a challenge that you might not figure them out immediately. The graphics are visually appealing, and I really like the art style that the game uses. The environments look very nice, the characters are cute, and the animation is done well. The performance could use improvement though. I have well over the recommended specs, but I was still getting some significant and noticeable frame drops. The music is absolutely amazing throughout the whole game. The game has such a beautiful and moving soundtrack. The ambience and the sound effects are also done incredibly well. The sounds of the wind, the rain, and the birds. All of the audio did a fantastic job creating an immersive atmosphere, and I really love the audio. The controls are fully customizable, and there is full controller support. Both the keyboard and mouse and the controller work great, so it all comes down to your preference. The game took me about four and a half hours to complete, but after finishing it, I realized that I missed most of the collectibles. There's not really any replay value to the story itself, but you can load the different chapters and go back to find all the secrets and achievements. Rhyme is a good game, but its slower pacing might not appeal to everyone. The puzzles and the platforming feel good, and I enjoyed my time playing it. The game has a lot of charm and an amazing soundtrack, although I do feel like the price take is a little high. I hope this review has helped you. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and post your feedback in the comments below. Thanks everyone, and have a wonderful day.